Last week, we were able to reflect on maybe the most important gift we can give and receive this Christmas time, forgiveness. And this week, I wanted to touch on another gift we could receive, peace. In our reading, we read about uh, a lion eaten with oxen, wolves living alongside lambs, and children being surrounded by poisonous snakes. But in the midst of what could be an extremely dangerous situation, we find peace. Isaiah writes this picture many years before Jesus was born so that we can see into what life looks like when Jesus is born, as he is the root of Jesse and the bringer of peace. I'm not sure what situation you find yourself in, whether you are a struggling staff member, a visitor full of worry, or a patient who finds themselves in a place that they would never imagine. Christmas, although often a joyful time, can be awfully stressful whether it is financially, relationally, spiritually, or any other reason, it's easy to be anxious during this season. But the promise found in Isaiah is that when Jesus arrives into our world, our situations, our lives, peace is not that far away. Philippians 4, 6 to 7 says this, Do not worry about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgivings, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all, all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This Advent season, why don't you take a moment to choose and receive peace? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we we thank you for your peace that you give liberally to those who ask for it. And today we ask that as we give our worries and anxious thoughts to you, you would exchange them for your perfect peace that transcends all understanding. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Amen.